With the stewardship practices that we have on our farm, the soil is getting better every year. So it's an, it's an infinite line on, on what, how many years does the soil have left? Well, it's, it's just getting better and better. So as far as the next generation goes, I think the future of agriculture is very bright. Farmers, everybody involved in agriculture, they are the most passionate stewards of the land, of the environment that you'll ever meet. This is our livelihood. The, the health of the soil and the health of the environment can be equated to dollars and cents to us. We need to produce more on every acre that we farm to provide food for the world. A lot of this soil hasn't been disturbed in years. If we had worked this last fall, um, seeding wouldn't have went as well. It's a, a great environment for, for a seedling to grow up into with protection like this. Growing up through a nice moist mulch and then protection from the stubble. And when we do get a big rain, a lot of it goes into the soil and instead of going down the coolies. <laughs> Peas are a key method to, of soil conservation. They produce their own nitrogen. They do great things for soil structure. The root systems, very diverse and uh, great for the soil. When we mechanically fallow the ground, uh, we, you, you, you stir up the soil, you lose moisture down to the depth that you work it, so you have to rely on additional rainfall to have that crop germinate, whereas by seeding straight into sod, all the moisture was saved uh, from the spring snow melt, and we had a much better chance uh, of getting a crop out of that. This is all new growth. It was essentially like a golf course, uh, very short, uh, uh, poor grass. This is fairly, uh, you know, hard ground. Uh, the challenge is to find a method of getting uh, a little alfalfa seed, which is uh, about a quarter the size of a kernel of rice, uh, into this soil uh, and packed and in, in contact with, with damp soil so that you can get that uh, seed to germinate. For centuries, the buffalo would come through here in the summertime, and they, they say that buffalo would go across the prairies and, and fertilize and essentially uh, cultivate uh, the, 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 the land to rejuvenate the, the grass. It would be herds of buffalo. They say it took three days for the herd of buffalo to go past a particular point. home quarter where my parents currently live is just about a mile that direction. This is my this is my family farm. It's important we have to raise food and feed a growing population in the world but to, but also trying to get that balance of making sure that land is protected because I mean we have a we have a son here so you know if you think down the future you feature generations that also have to um, be fed. Satellites have, have really enabled this technology to come forward in a way that's cost effective. Um, so most, um, most variable rate technology starts with some aerial imagery, whether that's infrared aerial imagery, usually, or some other kind of light spectrum that really measures uh, the vegetation that's growing. What's interesting though with variable rate technology and that we're finding though is that it's not always a case of saying, um, you know, poor areas of productivity put more. In some of these cases, we may be over applying because there isn't, a much isn't enough crop to use all the nutrients that we've been putting over the years. So we'll actually maybe put zero in some of these lower productivity areas 
and, and put a higher rate. So it's really a dynamic system. So what we're doing today is not likely what we're going to be doing five years down the road, but that's part of the, the, on, the ongoing learning process um, that you're doing that our grandfather started when they came out and busted the sod. Yeah, when you, when you look out across land, even if it's land you don't own it, you have a pride in it and uh, know that you're, you're doing something for the, for the world. You're contributing. The pride of a farmer is, I'd say, unlike no other. Um, you're, you're taking a seed and putting it in the soil and caring for it and, and harvesting food to feed the world.